Are you wanting to buy a home but feel like you have no other choice but to rent? In this hot housing market, that's how a lot of people are feeling right now. So let's talk about that. In this video, we're gonna go over the pros and cons of renting and buying a home, and also go over who would be best suited to rent and who would be best suited to buy. So let's first talk about the most obvious choice, the pros of owning a home. So we all know one of the major pros of owning your home is you're paying your own mortgage, right? You don't, you're not paying somebody else mortgage and also you're building equity that you can use for future investments. Another benefit of purchasing a home is that eventually it will appreciate in value and if you decide to sell one day you would benefit from the appreciation of value. So another advantage of owning your home is the freedom you have. You own that home so you can do anything you want in it whether that's renovations, upgrades, anything. So although there's many advantages of owning a home there also are some cons. So one of them being that it's a huge commitment to own a home. You can't just purchase a home and then three months later want to sell it. You can't easily break a mortgage or find a buyer that quickly and then you have to incur all these taxes along with selling your home. So if you're the type of person that is not stable in terms of job or you like to move around, perhaps it's not the best option of purchasing. Another downside is the maintenance. The maintenance of your home costs money. So you have to be mindful of any um, repairs that are going to be needed. So these are extra costs that you're gonna have to incur on top of your mortgage payments. Which brings me into another con, which is your mortgage payments. So in this housing market, with the prices so high for houses, if you don't have a huge down payment, your mortgage payments are gonna be quite large. And if you're a person that has a variable interest rate on their mortgage, if interest rates happen to go up, then your mortgage payments will go up as well. On top of your mortgage payments, you also have to remember that you have property tax payments that you're gonna have to make on a yearly basis. Another huge con to buying a home is having less or at either no disposable income at your hands. So what I mean by this is a big chunk of your life savings is going into purchasing this home. So you may not have any other funds available to be used, whether that's for investments or schooling or opening up a business, for example. Because all that money has gone to your mortgage and purchasing your home, you no longer have any money at hand to be used for anything else. Now, with all that being said, are you rethinking purchasing a home? Let's talk about the advantages of renting. When renting a home, there is no maintenance required, right? Your landlord's taking care of any repairs or maintenance that's going to be required on the home. Another advantage is it's easy to pick up and move. So say you moved into a rental home and you kind of figured that you don't really like the neighborhood. It's not your vibe. You don't like the environment. So you want to eventually pick up and move. Well, that's easy for you to do because during the end of your term lease, you're able to pick up and go and find somewhere else that you want. Or if you're a person that likes to move around or has a job that requires you to move around, this option is better for you because the lease term are short. So you're able to pick up and go freely. So another advantage of renting is that your costs are pretty much fixed. You now just owe rent and um, any utility costs that you may have. So the the amount of money you have to play around with in terms of your savings is more flexible. So because your costs are a lot less than if you were to have a mortgage, for example. So another advantage of renting is that you have access to a lot of disposable income on hand. So what I mean by this is if you were to own a home and have a mortgage, majority of your money, as mentioned before, is going towards the payment of that home. Whereas when you're renting, your payments are only going towards that monthly rent cost right? So say, for example, you're wanting to open up a business or, you know, go back to school or invest your money in stocks or other forms of investments. You now have that disposable income at hand to be able to venture off into those streams of income rather than if you were to have it tied down into a mortgage where you couldn't do any of that stuff. So now let's talk about the cons of renting. So one of the major cons is that you're paying someone else's mortgage, right? So you don't own this property that you're now living in, the landlord does. So with that, you have not been able to build any equity in the home because you don't own the home. So another disadvantage is the lack of freedom. The landlord is your boss. So if you, for example, wanted to do minor renovations on the property that you're living in, you couldn't do that because you would have to get permission from the landlord. And if they say no, then it's no, then you're not allowed to alter the property. So another major con of renting a home is that if the landlord wants to now sell the property or 
actually move into the property, you're now forced to have to find another place to live. Now that we've gone over the pros and cons of both buying and renting, let's go over who should buy and who should rent. If you're the type of person that likes stability, then perhaps buying is the best option for you. Also, if you have the money to afford that down payment, then that's another reason why buying would probably be a better option than renting. So now let's move into who would benefit from renting. So if you don't have that down payment readily available for purchasing a home, then the obvious choice is to rent. Also, another reason why renting might be a better option is if you're in a job or the, just the type of person that likes to move around from place to place, renting might be a better option because it just gives you that flexibility to move around. Also, if you're the type of person that doesn't wanna be bothered with maintenance and upkeep of a home, renting might be another option because you won't have to do any of that. Finally, if you're a person that's looking at starting up a business or investing or going back to school, you're going to want that cash at hand and renting allows you to do so because all your cash is not locked up into a mortgage, for example. So I hope this video was helpful at helping you decide on which option would be better for you. Although buying seems to always be the better option, it might not always be this case depending on your situation. I hope this video was helpful helpful in helping you determine which option is better for you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.